Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me. Today's project is this one. It's one of my infamous layered cards, and this is using, bleh, I can't even speak, using the wonderful world stamp set and paper bundle that you can get free during celebration, only on until the end of August, so please don't miss out. This is the stamp set. Lovely, utterly charming. It's free with a 90 pound order, 120 euros, forgot to say that bit. But you also get, so you get the stamp set, which you can get forever and ever and ever. But then also, oh, the gorgeous papers. So like always with our paper, 12 by 12 inches, 30 and a half by 30 and a half centimeters, and double sided. And you can see I've been using it. Bits and strips taken off here. Gorgeous, stunning flowers. And obviously the flowers are then represented in the stamp set as well. Couldn't tell you what the flowers are, no idea. Horticulturally challenged, I don't have green fingers. But it's gorgeous. And I love to make layered cards. Um, I find they're very easy and simple to do. They're great for a quick card, a quick project. And we are in summer holiday time here now. So my boys are on, off school, those who are still at school are off school and um, yeah and this is seven o'clock in the evening filming <laughs> so right okay so layer cards are very simple very easy and very quick to do because the paper's doing the work for you this was done on orchid oasis couldn't think what the color was and i'm going to do another version put on rich razzleberry so the colors that are in this are loads of them there's Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Orchid Oasis, Pear Pizzazz, Rich Razzleberry, <gasps> Starry Sky and Sahara Sand. But like I say, Rich Razzleberry. So I'm going to go through here and find some of these that have got Rich Razzleberry on. Oh, look, there's one. So I'm going to take that and cover my name. There's Rich Razzleberry in this one as well, but not a lot of it. There's a nice chunk there. There's a bit there. There's definitely some there. And def is that the same as the one I did before? Yes. So, and I might pull this one out. So what I was looking for was three, three different patterns that have all got the rich razzleberry in. Because that's my common colour. So I've got my three pages. Now I've got my... Um, sheet of A4 cards so I'm going to cut it in half and then score it in half um, and it doesn't matter whether you are you want a tent fold or you want a traditional fold it doesn't matter but you just cut it in half and score it in half note I'm not giving you measurements because not relevant because you can do this on six by six cards a three cards a no that would be a bit big um, a4 card you could cut it down and look at that it's a perfect size yeah it's probably because it's the other side of that one what I will say though is when you're cutting your layers if you're going to cut your base and make it half a centimeter shorter and narrower every other layer will be the same if you work in imperial and you want it a quarter of an inch shorter and narrow or an eighth of an inch just make sure that you keep that same um, measurement difference all the way along right so that's one layer and I want a big I want this big purple flower big razzleberry flower down there and I'm gonna cut the flower and then make it fits that way right so what size are we on okay so I don't need that bit that's one bit done so that was five and a half by seven and a half and because I'm working in metric I'm gonna make this six by eight so it's that same half centimetre that I said before. And that's going to fit just nicely around that. And then the last one, I'm going to make this sort of chunky-ish. Where's my raspberry? It's there. Oh, actually, there's a nice... 
I think I, w I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I want it. I kind of want this bit. Oops, wrong blade. So basically I'm just cutting it until I can get some nice flowers. Um, that's quite nice and again it's got that colour. So that is going to, I need to cut it eight, seven by eight, so almost a square. And every one will be different because you know I'm fitting it to the pattern so this one I wanted to keep those two on but here I only wanted that layer and again the repeating round exactly the same and then the last thing I want to do is pick out my flowers I'm going to go with this one and I'm going to measure that and then that will determine the size of my piece of paper that I'm piece of basic white so that is five centimeters wide by so I'm going to go five by seven on my piece of basic white that I can't get hold of five by seven and then another piece is that going to be no that's not quite big enough again that same half centimetre and you get that same border so the border is repeated and as long as you keep that those borders going all the way along you're going to be fine absolutely no problems whatsoever right let me get my block and I'm going to ink this up I'm actually not so this is a brand new stamp never used it before and i'll give you a top tip you can stamp the newness off or you can scrub the newness off so it's not dirty but i have just put some stamping uh, stamping mist on there and i'm scrub scrub clean clean and this is now going to be perfect for me to do some stuff with markers so i'm going to get my rich razzleberry and i'm going to get my mossy meadow I haven't done this in forever. So I'm going to take the fat brush, tri brush trip, brush tip, and I'm going to come sideways, I'm not going down on it, I'm coming sideways at it, and brush those um, stems. And you just brush sideways. And I'm looking, I'm looking at the one over here to see where the rest of the leaves pop out. There's one there. Is that one or two? It's just one. That pokes up there. And then come in with the rich razzleberry, exactly the same. And just brush. And again sideways now because our inks our markers are water-based I could leave this for an hour and let it dry completely and then just come and breathe on it because the natural moisture in my breath is going to um, activate it again I'm not gonna leave it that long but I could I'm not so I'm just gonna breathe on it now and actually I'm gonna stay zoomed in you have to believe that I'm breathing. I'm not a bree not a noisy huffer. It's made it all shiny again. And when I put it on here. Oh, it's like the magic reveal that's not happening. And you get the both colours. Why is that it's just not wanting to focus because I'm already zoomed in? Cool, huh? What a clever technique. Okay, let me zoom back out again and I can finish this card. So, <clears throat> grab a bone folder and I'm going to get some seal and take my base layer. I tend to make my base layer something that's got a small image or a pale image. 
because I don't want it to over dominate. So that one on there. So that's the only one I know that's where it's going. The rest have no idea yet until I start to play. And here's the stamped one. Okay, so if I get my card, I can start playing with the layout. If I bring in the original one, so you can see I kind of went like that and it went over, but actually they're the same height. So this time round, I could go slightly differently. I could go like that and I can put a panel in there or I could go like that and put that panel over there. It actually really doesn't matter because it's entirely up to you. So, but I quite liked that lay that layout. So I'm gonna glue these all up, prepped and ready. Oops, and flick them around. Why not? So if I put that one over there, actually I'm gonna put that one down, and then this one up. And this one can go over there a little bit. So it's kind of over both of them. And that is a simple, easy way to make a layered card. And I love them. And like I say, do you know what? I could give you the same three sheets of paper and the same cardstock, and yours would come out differently to mine. It, it, that's how it is, and that's what makes them all unique. So anyway, I hope you like them. I hope you liked this tip technique. I haven't done this for ages. It's a well-known technique. Love it. Thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.